All right. Uh, welcome back to Funko Plays. We're going to be doing a little tour of my world called Bruckner. Um, so this is roughly spawn. We've got an iron farm generating us iron ingots and some flowers. I uh, trapped a couple of phantoms, which is cool. They've got names. Uh, one of them's Frick, and the other one, I believe, is Frack. Classic. Over here, we've got our colored wolf arm. <laughs> Red not included. Eh. Yeah, this just uh, goes and chops the sheeps. This big giant thing over here, I'm not going to bother turning it on. Um, but it basically force spawns piglins, which then goes through this processing machine. You get gold uh, nuggets, ingots, and zombie flesh, which we don't really use too much, so that's getting a little stacked up. Um, but the gold we use regularly, and the same with the little nuggies. Oop. Close that door on like a fool. You can see our pyramid off in the distance. Uh, we got the road <laughs> bridge to nowhere, which we'll show you in a second here. We've got the Great Pyramid, accompanied by the slightly less great uh, Sphinx with automatic doors. Always cool. Uh, oh yeah, upside down cat. We don't want him floating away, so he's just chilling. Nice little map of our world. So you are, uh, we are here, roughly right on the side of this guy. So you've got my original base, the farm, pyramid. Uh, that was just a little copper experiment. And then, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of stuff further out. We'll take you there in a second. Uh, where is the... Yeah. Pyramid's also got automatic doors. Oh, geez, when did the tree get in here? I mean, I like that, but it's new. <laughs> um, sweet little floor we put a lot of effort into. There used to be a painting here. Uh, apparently, it's I don't have paintings on me, do I? I'll have to make another one and put it up there soon. Uh, classic pyramid, got a gold cap. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. This guy right here is our storage system. Oh, the door is open. Uh, is our storage system, which it looks cooler at night, but as you can see, as you walk in, the lights go off. Uh, it was kind of giving me, like, Raiders of the Lost Ark vibes, you know, when you go into the big factory and it just whoosh, whoosh, turns the lights on as you go. Thought that was pretty sick. Um, let's see, we will go this way first. We got a- ow! <laughs> ow! Where am I? Nice little, uh, garden square here. Water fountains, some cherry blossoms, some big old azaleas. Those were kind of a hassle to get- oh, and this one? Interesting. This is the only one that's dropping particles. I wonder if I could do something to get those to show up. Um, we've got the Great Lighthouse. Do a quick little circle of this guy. Uh, that way we never get lost. Sweet, sweet boat. I think this is one of my favorite builds that I've done so far. Um, half because the boat actually came out looking cool. But I also wound up setting up a whole bunch of, uh, like, dummies, so it looks like there are people working on it. You know, you got, uh, what is this guy fishing off the back? There's a couple guys up top, I think, making watch. Um, this guy's working the bell dive. And there's a guy in it doing, doing seafloor stuff, I guess. Uh, let's see. Whoop. Flag it out. We got... Oh, I want to put some colors in this. Dance floor. Um, 
<laughs> but this is the, I guess, Tiki Luau Drinking Club, which if I was in a different skin, uh, there's like a microwave and an oven and stuff back there, which was kind of cool. I think one of them is just like a row of bottles. And then, you know, you've got all your tables and stuff, a little more dock space. Um, let's see. Giant roller coaster here that I'm not going to bother riding because it takes too long. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's the Jank Mountain roller coaster. Got a little turtle sanctuary. Although I think... I think we're down to one turtle. There used to be like three in here. Uh, but that's fine, you know. Oop, where's my fairness? This is the working harbor. As you can see, we got plenty of boats. And then a bunch more of these little tiki stands. This is our, our lumberjack station, um, complete with every wood type in the game, just over yonder. You got a, a farmer, a blacksmith, and a We'll call him the shepherd because that's wool and wool accessories. This isn't done yet, <clears throat> but we're putting a, a, a pretty big castle in over here. Still working on that and the kingdom to go with it. But I know Dan worked really hard on this floor. Um, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm working on building. Like the rest of this kingdom, so I've got a little farm going, some pretty little houses, uh, windmill. That really just didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but you know, whatever. Oh, oh, and of course, tulips um, for the windmill. Because why not? And then, do, 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 if you hop up over this way, well, that's that bridge to nowhere which goes to our village. Uh, our trading hall is not looking so good anymore. But each one of these is a designated trader station, so you can get just stuff, whatever you need. Um, diamond gear, whole, whole gambit. And I think, I think that's pretty much the whole map. Um, aside from the Wicker Man, which I forgot to point out earlier, you probably saw it. Uh, da, 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 where, right here. That guy is, uh, primed and, and ready for burning one day um, and in addition to it just literally just waiting to go up in flames I've got this weird setup here to launch a bunch of fireworks um, and now that it's darker whoop, I think this vault will show off a little better Um, and yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Always looking to build new things, new cool and exciting stuff. If you got any ideas, let me know. Oh, wrong one.